That sucks. Covered. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So we stopped here to eat at Hardy's. Went to go show Aaron. He's gonna take his valve stem off and push on my key, shoot out a little bit of beet juice to show him it's filled. And the darn end of it blew off. I know what's wrong with it. Covered me. Blue beet juice across the parking lot. I was sitting there holding it with my finger until we rigged this up. My goodness, I ain't never seen the end of a valve stem cap blow off. There it is. As soon as I touch the cap, this whole thing blew out of there. It's crazy. Never seen that before. One week later. Nothing I can do about it. It's up on jacks because I'm fixing this side over here, the valve stem. <sighs> can't I can't stop it. Checking the uh checking the air pressure on that one, and that one blew out. Same exact thing. I'm like, surely no way. That that side was probably just a fluke. Went to go check the tire pressure on that side to set that one the same. As soon as I tried to untwist it, blew out. Ah, uh, it sucks. Got it all over me. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It's a damn shame. Ah. Guys, if you got rubber valve stems and beet juice in it, change out your cores. It's going to happen. This tractor is now four years old. And both sides done the exact same thing when I went to go check the air pressure. As soon as you twist the cap to take it off, check the air pressure, the whole core and everything comes out of these things. Ah, sucks. There goes all the beet juice. I can't, I, it's under jack because that side's fixing that side so I can't turn the tires and I can't sit there and hold it by myself. So I just lost all my beet juice. These things... That's what I replaced it with, all brass. These things should come with metal valve stems. Look at that rubber. The cord blows out. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Sprayed everything on the tractor. And there you go. That's what blows out. The core, as soon as you try to grab hold of this cap and twist it, the inside core that's in that rubber valve stem blows out. And... You get a face full of beet juice. You lose all your, all your ballast. Bullshit.
I got the weight all the way back on it. It didn't look that bad. It didn't look like it was pushing the tire out that bad, but uh, as soon as I put it in reverse, it busted the bead off the rim. That sucks. I was going to back it out here where I had more room to work on it, but now I guess I'm going to have to try and fix the valve stem where it's sitting. Ah, sucks. As soon as I jacked it up, more leaking out. Don't have much room to work here. But grab it. Just cut it off. Everything smells like beet juice, stinks, everything's sticky. Stuff looks like used motor oil. Push it through. Make sure there ain't no sharp spots in it. Give it a little cleaning. Get our valve out. Goes in there snug. Push it. Take the cap off here. Now we're just going to twist that nut and it's going to expand on, to, on out. I can feel it getting snug now. And I'm putting pressure on it that way as well. I can see it starting to squish the rubber out around here. Pretty tight. I'll give it a little bit more. I think it's going anywhere. I think it's got it. So, got a ratchet strap around it, squeeze the tire, which presses the sidewalls out either way. Now I can't move it, so hopefully, air compressor, my general, is going to do it. We'll see. Looks like it's going. Uh, it does not build any more pressure. Looks like it's close. So I'm having a nightmare of a time trying to get this tire back on. I tried to, uh, I had a ratchet strap in the center, one on either side, it didn't work. I tried making a gap in the side and spraying it full of starting fluid and lighting it on fire. I actually used black spray paint, but that didn't work. So I was going to try and back it up and spin it around where I could get more room on this side so it wouldn't be up against this wall. And completely come off the rim, but you can see how that thing works. You can see how it squishes it and seals it off on the inside of the rim. Man, what a mess this has made. So I had to put it in full drive in order to get it backed out. But now, at least if I got to take the wheel off, I can actually get it off now. It's hitting on the wall over there. So try to get it put back on here. If I got to take it off to get it on, I'll do that. What a mess, though. This stuff dries like tar. I mean, uh, rim guards, nasty stuff. So I know those valve stems work because I done fixed this side over here. This is the first side that blew out. And this has been pumped up and holding fine for about three weeks now. Trying to work with everything covered in motor oil. Shit. 
you. Couldn't get it? Let's try some starting fluid. I'm tired of pulling this thing. Well, that was a failure. scared to let the air out to get this strap off. Woo. I'm scared to let air out of the fire. I don't want it to pop back off. We'll see. Woo. Yeah, look at that. What a mess. What a mess. Well, glad that's done that was a pain so that was the left side i was able to spin that valve stem to the top cut it blew all the air out while it was on jack stands didn't have no problem put the new valve stem on that side that right side is the one that blew out and absolutely caused me a great deal of pain I'm trying to spray all this the good stuff is this beet juice you can see it everywhere it is non-corrosive and it's water soluble so it just comes right off the water hose. See some rim guard. You can see some of it right there. It just washes right off. Pretty easy to come off. Pull that on the cage. Alright, I'm going to wash this thing off, but those valve stems, the Colby valve, they're awesome. They're easy to put in, like two minutes, very easy to put in, and they work great.
Man, can you imagine how bad it'd have been if that would have blown out like on the trailer going down the interstate or something? Absolutely spraying beet juice over everybody on the interstate. Luckily, the two times it messed up was not in too bad of a spot, but Jesus, stuff's nasty.